peace guys and goddesses welcome back to my channel i am intuitive flow and this is a divine masculine reading i pray that you all are well i pray that you're all taking care of yourself loving yourself honoring yourself and those around you make sure you like the video as it truly helps the channel grow make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so divine masculine i actually did your reading earlier today um however my son was in he was being very active so he is all throughout your reading um so it would be a lot of editing that needs to be done so i'm just waiting to be guided to still post it until then we're just going to do another one for you and see uh <laughs> what you all need to know and i apologize for the shaking of um the camera while i'm shuffling and things going on it's just the way the mount is connected to the table shaking the table all right so let's see what is the message for divine masculine show me divine masculine holy spirit please Show me divine masculine, please. Oh, the thinking man here with the temple path. Number 12. Wow. I'm picking up on fireflies. The garden and the gate. Somebody you're thinking about, angel of strength. This is a divine feminine. Um, the world and door to romance. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up on energy that you are taking your time with the particular energy that's around you right now. You're being very logical and cerebral around the way you want to approach a situation that includes this person a specific person i am hearing the thinking woman wow i was gonna say i am hearing uh thinking of a master plan okay so some of you guys are thinking of a master plan how to approach this person it's definitely your person, the thinking man and the thinking woman. And this person is thinking about you too. 46, 47. You all could be a year apart from your divine person. You got this seat with what? Third chakra, Archangel Chamuel and journey. It's been a long journey, a long time coming. There's something around you not needing to think so much into this. Like something happened at the age of 25. Either you were deceived or you deceived this very person. I feel like whatever this is or was, you felt that what you were doing or what you did in that moment was wrong. You felt it in your solar plexus. This could be what led you on, to, to, on this journey towards balance here. If I remember, we're going to read both the thinking man and the thinking woman here. Give me some more for Divine Masculine in their person you have a gift for this person or somebody has a gift for you i feel like whoever this he, this is they have a gift of knowledge their gift to you is their knowledge that they've acquired or they've attained throughout this journey throughout this this time of knowing you and i feel like what you have to offer now is your emotions, being emotionally available and or aware. You you had time to think about 
where you went wrong in a situation with this person. Divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Seven of swords. Divine feminine got that as well. Four of pentacles. Hmm. Nine of swords. So this did a number on you. Queen of pentacles. This person never left your mind. They never left your, your thoughts. They never left your side. Okay, I'm picking up on hot and cold energy or waking up in a cold sweat you could have been dreaming about this person or your ancestors or angels showing you this person in your dreams are you being stuck mentally thinking about how you sabotage a situation you were holding on to something for quite some time but i feel like there is an energy of releasing this now Feeling really guilty about how you treated someone. Yeah, the chariot. Four of swords. Could have been a cancer. Or could be a cancer. Yeah, you got the seven of pentacles in reverse. So I'm picking up on whatever this may have been. This person definitely may have detached from you. At one point, this could have sent you into like a mental frenzy with the nine of swords. But they think about you too. You guys communicate telepathically, mentally. Yeah, the tower. I'm picking up on all the things that you could have lost out on in life. This one really hurt. Like this was this was a stinger. Okay, literally could be a Scorpio or you could be Aries. Six of Wands with the <laughs> with the Queen of Pentacles. So this time around is going to be successful. Nine of Pentacles, you could be bringing someone out of being single, or you're just ready to no longer be single. You're ready to share my world. Didn't we see the world card here? Door to value. Where do we see the world? Envy. The sun. Leo. I could have sworn I've seen the world card. Angel of balance, door to value. Okay. Maybe that was in my mind's eye, but I could have sworn I've seen the world card. But this is going to be a victory here now. Let's see. Give me more for the seven of swords. This was in the recent past. The hairy font. Mm hmm. Taurus. Yeah, you feel like, or you felt like you went against traditional values. Your traditional values. I don't know if you were cohorts to do this, Divine Masculine, or it was the energy that was around you that was pulling you down to their level as it pertains to this Divine Feminine. You always knew that this was your person. But for some reason or another, you decided to devalue yourself and turn devalue this person. 
the Harry font, Queen of Wands, mm. earlier in your reading too, Divine Masculine, there was a lot of women, a lot of, I believe it was the Queen of Pentacles, no, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups that came out. Now you already have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So it looks like in the recent past, you wanted something that was more spontaneous or you wanted an a energy that was more striking. Because the Queen of Pentacles could seem a bit um, mundane or boring or reserved. Queen of Wands is very feisty, very out there a fire energy you see me you seen this person all right again you could have been cohorsed by people to go more toward the queen of wands but i see that it was short-lived or this person was only in it for monetary gain or what they could get out of it this could also be speaking about you being more in a feminine energy then when you when you were in the seven of swords energy. Why is the queen of wands here? The page of wands. This was somebody who made you bow down to them. Somebody who made you work for them. Maybe in the past, this Queen of Pentacles was a little bit too nice. I always say, um, that smile was mischievous, mischievous as fuck. I always say the when they say the nice guys finish last, that, that goes for women too. This person didn't inspire you though but i'm hearing when the money got low or when you start to pull back from doing for this person things changed why is the four of pentacles here king of wands okay Did this person teach you how to start valuing yourself? Because you could have been the page of wands at one point dealing with the queen of wands. Why is the king of wands here? With the four of pentacles? King of swords. I just heard lying to yourself. King of Swords in reverse. Two of Cups. Oh. Someone started cheating on you. This person cheated. Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm-hmm. They made this up. This deck is upright. So this person started cheating on you with the, a King of Wands. Because both the King and Queen of Wands is in the upright. This person was, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not laughing at you, Divine Master. I'm not laughing at you. But I definitely do see here that this led you to this Nine of Swords, thinking about this Queen of Pentacles even more. Why is the Nine of Swords here? 
seven of cups. You was confused as fuck. This also puts you in an energy of where now you, you base decisions off of your intuition. You make smarter decisions based on the choices that are um, based on the, you make better decisions based on the oppor opportunities that are presented to you. Why is the um, seven of cups here? Whoa. Eight of wands. So you could be seeing this person. And when I'm talking about this thinking woman, so whoever you have in your mind as your person, divine masculine, that you could have been in separation with or that you're, you're currently in separation with, that's what I'm talking about. So you could be seeing this person, person on social media. You could be contemplating on reaching out. Or they're contemplating or reaching out to you. But I see you stuck in your head around what you did to this person or how you treated them or devalued them or didn't see their worth. What is this? Two of Pentacles. It came out sideways. Let me see. Flipped in reverse, so that's how Source wants me to take it. I feel like you're going to make a decision to reach out to this person. You're going to message them. Or you're going to see if they have the same number. You see them doing well. You can be contemplating if they're going to respond. They might not. Six of swords in reverse. Make me feel some type of way. I know you do. So they may not respond right away. I feel like there's answers. There's questions that have gone unanswered. Or they could be unreachable. They could have you blocked. Or they could be in a relationship. Five of Pentacles, Taurus with the top with the title card. That they you might find out they're in a relationship, and this may leave you feeling left out in the cold. And then I just heard you're going to be telling yourself like, of course they're in a relationship. This person is a great catch. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. Oh, damn. Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be feeling like I'm too late. Too late to apologize. Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. This person could be having a baby. They could be pregnant. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. You got all the queens out here, man. The Magician. What is the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles? Three of Wands. They're expecting you to hit them up. They know you're going to hit them up. Intuitively, they know. Intuitively, they know. Um. Now, that particular situation about them being in a relationship, possibly having a baby, 
that could be for some of you. For others of you, this person could just be living their life, traveling, you know, closing deals, running businesses. Um, I'm happy sun card here. King of Cups in reverse. Okay. I'm for some of you I'm hearing you might catch this person on a good day. I don't okay. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. This person may be open to something platonic. They do still have feelings for you, though. But they're doing really well. Also, with the six of uh, swords in the reverse and the three of wands, this person could be on a remote island. Like, they could literally live on an island. Okay. This would be something long distance. They're not, they're not as close as they used to be. Um... Damn, Divine Masculine, we are 21, 27? Uh -uh. Ace of Swords in the reverse. They could, they could be lying, though. They could be just telling you they live somewhere off the grid because they're not ready to see you yet. Ace of Cups, they're still in love. Ten of Pentacles, they still want this thing. But Three of Swords, they're hurt. They, it's like this person is going to want to do a lot of um, I'm not picking up on harping, but they didn't get the closure they felt they deserve. What is the advice for Divine Masculine? They didn't get the closure that they feel they deserve. What is the advice? The guidance. For divine masculine, please. My brains be looking weird, bro. Scorpio. Complete transformation. I'm also picking up on revealing. Secrets coming out, truths, truths coming out. Something about um, insecurities. This could be a Scorpio, you could be a Scorpio, or you may have this significance in your chart. You're beginning to realize who you are. Fear is what's Fear is what's making you question it. So quit overthinking. You're realizing who you are now. Your transformation is noticeable. I feel like this person will notice a huge difference in you if you've truly changed. Now, I am hearing if you haven't truly changed your ways, then reaching out to this person or attempting to connect with them it's null and void. Don't even do it. The moon card, they're going to pick up on your energy quick. They're going to see when you're lying. They're going to feel when you're lying. They're going to know that you're not being 100% honest, truthful, transparent with them. Uh-huh. The shadow is you too. They're going to look right, see right through that bullshit. No matter what happens outside of myself, I know I am safe. So I feel like no matter which direction this goes, I feel like the fact that you are able to talk to this person or connect with this person will be enough. So go into the situation truly ready to heal the situation. Don't just go into it ready to get back with this person or jump their bones. That ain't what this is. Yeah, they still love you. But that don't negate 
you know, what transpired. I don't know if you ghosted this person. I don't see the hermit, but okay. It looked like you just chose something more shinier. You chose a more shiny. Stay focused. Remember why you started. Okay. So stay focused on your transformation as well. No matter, again, how the situation plays out. Like, let's say if this person doesn't, you know, welcome you with open arms, don't let this get you down. Continue your mission on, on, transform, on transforming. There is emphasis on, emphasis on I am. So knowing who you are and knowing what you bring to the tables, which is safety, I feel. Have no fear. All right. Rebirth. Yeah. Double time. So that's what I got, Divine Masculine. I pray that it helps. Like up on this video and I will check y'all on the next one. Peace.